We are the biggest, we are the largest, we are the highest, we are the greatest, we are the mightiest African spiritual platform. We talk everything spirituality, we talk everything African liberation, we preach consciousness. My name is always Queen Hadasha. Call me Empress Makida. I am the world star number eight. I am the sphere of destiny. Me certificate in my body at Dawson. To me, to me, Bobo Nina, because I said, the artist said, Obia, some more person. Yeah, yeah, can't quench them. Yeah, can't concern them. I, as I'm talking, I'm being a person who is human. He is a cool race. He is a bisa kwai. He is a person who is. And then so so yeah, that's from man crown Caribbean. Aquaba, love, love, and hate, hate is one of our uh, slogans. We don't like hatred. It's bad. Me ma wa aquaba. Mo me ma ya guest no aquaba. Sana ya bad topic no so. Please, I welcome you to Revelations. Thank you very much. Uh, Great. Today is your first time on set. We want to know you people. So please kindly introduce yourself to the public. Let us know who you are. Okay. I'm Teche Nibo Tekofi Frank Wade II. Nungwa man kalu shono talo. And we be going to Manche. My name is Lumobote Obla. And in short, Niobla in short. Yeah. I'm also the Bobu Labia. Of Nongwa. Okay. I welcome you and I appreciate you. Abusia, your guest for today, and the, we are going we are going to talk about a little bit about the homo yes mumbo drums are my ye de de ne ye last year yet say ye kwa jiji ya sorry bi numukrapo omo drums ne ade ade. We've had a conversation with numbo chawe. About this or more thing, or say, a tress, a dream, said the dream, a beba, into rituals, no, omo ya, omo pese de de bia, and walk room. It's for our own good, but always we want to go against uh, the rituals and everything that happens in our community as Africans. So I would ask them a few questions about homo, then we will get zoom into the main topic, the reason why we are seated on this set. So, Papa, when they say homo, what is the meaning of homo? Where did we get it from? Is the name I'm pronouncing correct? Homo, uh -huh. yes, is, is the word. Uh, basically, we say we are hooting at hunger. We are hooting at hunger. And for us, as um, the people of Nungwa, which we happens to be the first Gadangbe state or the first Gadangbe town, um, to have reached our current country called Ghana after we migrated from um, the Middle East area. Uh, normally, it's been referred to us as the Israel area before moving on to Egypt, then to Ethiopia, to Sudan, to Chad, um, Cameroon, uh, Congo, before getting to Nigeria. Nigeria is our very um, last place that we have it on record where most of the things that happens there it is well documented and it's, you can see it play within our traditional settings so whilst we got to Nigeria um, by good omen and then the power of God Almighty and then the extraordinary powers of our leader Numo Bogete Lawechuru um, we were the last to leave Nigeria when we all the 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 Gadangbe set left Nigeria, were the last to leave because we wanted our leader wanted to sacrifice himself in case uh, uh, Benin City uh, uh, colleagues would notice that we are escaping or we are moving away from them. He, by virtue of having his powers, he can hold on the fourth wise the other Gadangbe towns can leave. But um, when they got to River Niger, uh, they were not able to cross, so they, most of them ended up at Ileife. But when he got to River Niger, because he possesses some, not some level, possesses so much powers, he was able to part the, uh, the River Niger, and then he and his, uh, his team, uh, which is a Nungwa team, were able to cross the river Niger. And then by virtue of that, we were the first to have come to Ghana. So we came, then now called Ghana. 
but we were the first to arrive in this this place by virtue of that almost hundreds of years before our colleagues um, the Gadang, the Gamashin people and the other sect also arrived so that is the reason why you might have heard or you might have noticed that it is Nungwa that starts the Omoa celebration um, starts the pre omoa rites and its celebration before any other uh, Gan Adangbe town will now proceed to to celebrate it and so for us we always remember which is part of our right we always remember when there was farming in the world and everybody needs to trek to in Gan world we call it Mizrim which is Egypt for corn and millet because that is where corn and millet was then so our people always trek to um, Mizrim Egypt to get this corn and millet this corn and millet is what has been preserved by our people. Um, the corn um, was with the Nungwa, the people of Nungwa, and then the millet has been with our Gamashin people, which is in the hands of the Dantu Webi Nilantijawi family. They, they hold on to that. So you can see that in Gamashin, when we are having our Omoa celebrations or our pre Omoa rites, they normally refer to part of their rituals is that uh, they, they plant the millet and then Nungwa works on the maize. All these two derive from our stay around the Middle East and then there was farming and then we have to tread to Egypt for, uh, uh, for food, which is maize and then millet. And that is what the ancestors or our forebearers, um, they've heard on to it and we've been on it up to up to today up to today um so um please how does the rituals go the homo rituals how does it go okay the rituals starts um <clears throat> from fetching of water which is uh, a sacred water to fill up our pots for visitors and our ancestors and then after that there is other rituals that follows so we have about 17 to um, 16 weeks that we used to do rituals to celebrate. The we want to know how the rituals go. After fetching the water, what do you do before you tell us not to beat the drums and make any noise? Okay, so, so after fetching the water, we've, we go um, for, we, we fetch water for three times. So the first one, and then the second one is Jente Nishwamo, which is one of the most important um, rituals that we do to control the universe because the center of the world or the meridian as you refer in the English our forefathers have already discovered it and they used to perform right for it before the colonial masters or geographical whatever came to find out where the, uh, the middle is but we have already discovered the middle where we perform right every year so after the first fetching of water. The first fetching of the water, because we normally based on water, wherever we go, we look for water first. And our community name is Numba, meaning fresh water. So we first deal with the water, and then after that, we have to look for food. So the water, then the farming processes will start. So we perform this Jente Nishwamo. So when we refer to Jente Nishwamo, simply means the center of the world. So our forefathers used to practice this at the meridian. But because of certain issues or some um, incident that happened, we practiced these things at home, still as we speak. And that was done yesterday. So after Jente Nishwamo, then we move to the third fetching of water. Then the uh, third one comes in. And then we do the next one, which is called Manjulamo. So purification. Because we believe people do wrong things or evil things under, underground without people knowing. And also, we might have um, accidents and other things we don't want in our community. So we need to purify the community. And before we will first harvest our um, crops from the farms, we need to bring it to the Bobulomo, Shinche, who is the overlord of the Garden State. And doing this, we need a clean environment or a pure environment before this um, corn or maize can be brought to 
to the people. And then from there, we will do another rituals, which is the Beshimo. Beshimo also allow us, because when we plant, we go into fasting. So all our priests and priestesses, we pray and fast to the Almighty that we need abundance of rain. So we first chant our incantation. Awo, 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 agbaye, oblekucho, esu, esu, enabu, enam, manyo, manya, adibankoto, awo, 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 agbaye, oblekucho, esu, esu, enamu, enam, manyo, manya, adibankoto, so all these incantations has meanings. So the first part that we say, we are calling on um, our God, or we say we're calling on Mother God, or the Rain God, and we say in Sue, which is like a can uh, language. In Sue, we are calling for abundance of rain, and then Enam, which is fish. So more water and more fish, and then food, and then abundance of grace and worth. So these are things we chant first to lift up the energy so that God Almighty can bless our um, cross for us. So before we do this, we need to clean the, um, or purify the town with a, a lamp, a baby. A, a baby goat you call it a black one so that is what we believe in as um, spiritual people we believe blood is the most important thing that is why even in the bible christ came and died for us as with to split his blood for our cleansing so we believe in those things as one of the key yes we believe as one of the key things to do and then when we finish with that we we'll do the Beshimo right. Beshimo also allow us, like I said, we've gone into fasting. So to break our fasting or open our mouth to eat, we have to do this right, which allow us to eat the first harvest corn from our farm. And the one who has to do that is the Babulomo. He has to first test it, do it, bless it, and then share to the various communities. So we will do this before any other Ghana community can eat corn or harvest their corn. And then after the Beshimo, we go to Inshobulemo. Like I said, in Ga custom, we respect everything, nature, that God created. But other people have the perception that we are worshipping uh, or worshipping demons or devils. But we believe in creation and the creature, that everything on earth is given to us to use it as we want it. So when we finish with the farm produce, then we need fish. Because before you eat, you have your kenke, you need your fish. So now we got our corn, we need the fish. So we go to the sea and do the purification rite also for the sea. So we believe in the deities in the sea and everything. So they can also give us the fish. So when we finish with this rite, then we come to uh, Berminla, which is the ban on drumming. So the ban on drumming is where the other people also go into uh, their chambers and fast. So we need a silent environment. In Nungwa, we only do it for a week. But it's very important to us because we also know we are living with other um, neighborhoods. So what we do is that we'll do it a week so it can allow the others that have already started their planting and other stuff to also cultivate their uh, plants. Then when we finish with that, we prepare for Beji. Beji is simply about cleaning the royal path and sacred places where our leader migrated back or departed to the sea, which be, we believe to now that he's alive and always work with us. So every t Tuesday, the last Tuesday in the month, we go and welcome him back into our community so he can be with us and celebrate in peace. Then after that, Thursday, we do Aichemo, which simply means curfew. So this Aichemo is one of the biggest rituals that we do at night, midnight. So we, no one is allowed to come out to come and see what takes place because we, are going to, we have invited our leader because he's very spiritual and very strong person. And you feel the energy if you are part of us when he's coming to the town. You see 
dogs will be barking at that. That's why we hate dogs or we don't allow dogs in our community. Really? Yes. We don't allow dogs in our community. So when it's coming, you will feel it. You will know. And one strange thing, or I, I wouldn't call it strange, but I would say one um, important thing is that if you have a child or a, or a newborn baby who cries a lot on that day, he or she will never even make a sound. They will have a sound sleep. So we respect this culture that no one should come out on that particular Thursday. And then Friday is a resting day because we do the rites in the midnight. And then Saturday, we will do the Obene, which is the migration, commemorating our, our migration from Beni. So our migration from Beni is what has turned into the word Obene Shimo, your migration from the Beni city in Nigeria. So after Obene Shimo, then we do the Pelishimo, and then the main homo, that way we cook. The Sunday. the Sunday we cook the food and eat with our, sprinkle. Uh, sprinkle some into our various houses and then eat with our people. And then we mourn those who have uh, gone with us. That's on the Monday, which is our new year on our calendar, the next Sunday morning. Then we pray the, and thank the God Almighty with the Pele, drums and songs. You are watching the biggest and the largest. I have two big questions to ask. I know it's a bit difficult or not pleasant, but because you are here and you own the place, I don't want to be believing in hearsay. The reason I will ask this question, your leader that you go and meet at the sea, we've heard people on this set saying that it's a leader that the hand was cut off. Have you heard this story before? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, we've heard we've heard people say that. Uh, I mean, he, you cannot cut the hand of Numo Bokitilawe. You cannot. So, what's the truth about this issue? You cannot cut off because you see, um, like we indicated, Numo has been in existence for the past um, over eight hundred and twenty years, and we have um, successions we've had in line. You cannot say uh, you had. One uh, Boketilawe, and that Boketilawe, when we are talking about the Boketilawe in reference, all those that have been saying that they themselves, they know that even his ten uh, uh, fingers are all arrows, and that is why his symbol. Well, if you see his edifi or his symbol, he always have an arrow at his back, and a lot of people can test that. Even when he just spring his hands, arrows comes out of it. So who made up that story? I know, you know, we are in a system where people normally, um, one thing that I've noticed within a traditional setup is that people always, within the gun setup, uh, we find it difficult in appreciating and saying, this, this is our leader or this is our, uh, the person who is the most powerful. That is the, the, one of the things that are more guns. But within themselves, they know. The first question you ask them, that I always ask people that, okay, if you are challenging the authority of Numo Bokitilawe, why then is Numo Bokitilawe who celebrates the first or more? Why then? Why so then? Th that uh, finger cutting is a lie? Uh, you cannot cut it. So it's a lie? You cannot cut Numo Bokitilawe. So it's uh, a lie? You cannot cut his hand. So if it's a lie, then why did he run into the sea? You see, uh, he didn't run into the sea. Oh. No. He did not run so into the sea. So why then do you welcome him from the sea? Okay, so let me clarify something here. Okay. Uh, it's been something our forefathers have told us not to speak about it or oh, talk okay. about it because it's more spiritual. Um, even in our society, we have people that betrayed us. And he didn't run to the sea. He departed because we believe, and in some of our consultation with our spiritual leaders, they believe he's the same person as Okonfuanochi. The same person as Togbi Chali of um, Togo, the same person as Asebu Amenfi, which we have references and records and family names attaching to these things. Now, Bokite Lawe's second son betrayed him. That is why he left. And he promised that he would come back. He promised he would come back. So when he was leaving, he left behind a son, which we are the descendants today. So he didn't run or his fingers was not cut off because most people like I keep asking my friends but they don't want us to talk about it because like I said it's more spiritual there are a lot of things involved 
which we are not allowed to bring into the public space. But three different books are written. One said the finger, one said the 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 the, 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 hand. the, the hand. Like, like there was a cut. Yes. So which one should we believe? The the, the 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 they said the fingernails, the thumb, and the hand. Which one should we believe? Every cut is a cut. Yes. But no cut happened. N nothing there happens. No cutting. The, the nothing truth happened. of it is that, like I've indicated, you cannot cut his hand. I mean, somebody who parted the sea into two with his rod. Or your Moses. On, for us, within the history books, apart from what we've read about Moses, it is Numo Bokote Lawe, right from Benin City, who parted the uh, river Niger. And then even at Trilau, he named it Trilau. They are down, uh, uh, the Adan, the Volta River. He named it Trilau. You understand? Before crossing it and then coming to stay in our present country called Ghana. You cannot cut off his hand. You cannot. So that was a lie. I mean, people... Yes, I, I would call it a fabrication. Fabrication. You okay. see, um, no. there's one thing. You know, when people started writing history, they need to write what will suit them. Because there are so many questions when we also started asking those saying these things. They will go like, oh, okay, because... Um, let me say this on the set. When we were all growing up, they said they cut the hand, which, I mean, from here, right mm. from here. And then you see... A Wulomo holding it as a replica. Then, when we got to social media, thank God, this social media thing, we saw the same thing at uh, Aneho Beni. Did Bokitala went to Beni, Beni to cut his hand? No. So, this is where you find the, the, the fabrications and things to, to suit people's agenda. Because oh, okay, so those who, fab who said that they his are hand was the, cut, and yes. they, they are saying that they cut the hand and they have, they, it, they have, they have it, it as an evidence. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I now get it now. Yes, but and there's another evidence somewhere else. The same people, I, they celebrate the I same get it, thing I get it. Benin. Eh? And the same, they have the same, and they say that and is a... there. But yes. Lawa didn't go to Benin. He from Nigeria, he, he came straight. So you can, apart from us, the other Ghana towns, they, you can find their settlements in Benin Kutonu in Togo. But we, the Bobo people, the Gangwo, we are Gangwo and we have Gamachin. You, apart from Nungwa and then the other Ghana Dangwe towns that, that during the formation of vir these various towns, you can find some of the Bobo names there, like Boom. The, one of his great grandson was part of the um, elders that formed the Pong Township. So if you go to Pong, you will hear Bokite Bote, those there. If you go to some part of Gamashin, you will hear those. But aside that, you will never find any of our names in uh, ben, Togo and, and Beni. The only place you can also find our name is Nigeria, where you have the Awalabi. What the, power does uh, Bokete's <laughs> hand hold, Papa? <laughs> Let me use that, Papa. <laughs> what power is in his hand that somebody will fabricate a story, a huge story like this, and be holding a hand that this is uh, Papa's hand? Is there any powers? Why would that happen? That is what we are saying, that he's so powerful. He's so powerful. So any part of him, if one person has it, can't say that, look, I have this part of uh, that's that's power, powerful power. You, you understand? So he's so powerful. And they can attest, like we've been saying, even his hands alone. I mean, we have, we have deities within our towns. There are so many things we don't want to talk about because our, our ancestors and our forebearers have indicated to us because those are our strength. And for that reason, why we should not even be talking. This is one person who can use his one hand to hold three persons and drag them from even here to Accra, just with his one hand, to bury them alive. This, this is the kind of character we are talking about. You understand? And it's everything. You see, when people dispute whatever we say, it is within our tradition. And it is our tradition that have been handed over unto us for over 820 years. So how then do we celebrate the Obini when we say we come from Beni City and the people doubt and say, OK, we have the Obini. We have the Gbeshimo. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, the for which is clearing the path of where he trekked, where he, he food trekked uh, to open the to depart to part the sea into two, uh, and then walk in with his with his with his people. We have that particular right which is there. We have the Avichemo, the Avichemo, which indicates one of his authority. Indeed, indeed. Uh, 
I'll just I'll just hold it here because most of our rights, if you are very observant, you will know that there are some see there are some hidden truths with the hidden secrets within those particular rights. And every step of our festival, everything about Numo Boktela was in there. From our Bene rights, you can see it clearly. Do you people have uh, Nungwa people, right? Mm -hmm. Do you people have enemies? The one who is holding your king's hand, mm -hmm. is that person your enemy? Um, you know, the God, we all want to talk. And our more celebration, it is not in isolation of uh, um, exclusive with only the people of Nungwa. It is interwoven. The more rights, it's interwoven. Right from Nungwa, you go back to Mashin, from Mashin, then it will follow, it will go back to Tema, to Pon, to Pran Pran. And you see, our festival itself, it is not based on the kings. It is based on the priests. So you cannot say that Nungwa has enemies. It is just that currently, with the current generation, people always want to feel superior over others. Over others. And people want to feel, oh, okay, we are also there. We, we are, okay. We are these people, and by virtue of uh, we being the capital, or we are this, we, we are you understand. But if you enter into a Ghana Dangbe community, you will see that everything that we do is based on our deities. And most of our deities, we have almost the four elements that we, 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 we work around we have water, we have fire, we have earth, yeah. and then we have yeah. uh, 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 air, wind. which is wind. You understand for the entire Gadangbe state. So when we are celebrating no more, you will see. Or you will notice that immediately yesterday we had the um, the, the 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 Jentain Nishwamo, which uh, Nomo indicated that is where the Baburomo feeds all the deities within the center. Use the center. Can you add his name so we appreciate him? The Baburomo. What Nomo kono Nomo bokitila were true. The thirty third. Shiche. Baburomo mm -hmm. Shiche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An overlord of the Gadangbe state, where he uses the 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 Meridian rock, which our ancestors call it Angbo. He indicated way back 800 and something years ago, our ancestor knew that that particular rock serves as the center of the earth, and he uses that to feed the energies within the world to keep the world in balance and in harmony. Immediately that is done, you will see that our brothers in Mashi. We we'll now do the uh, the uh, shiban. Uh, the shiban. So today, this morning, Lantejawe uh, and uh, Numo Dantu and his people did the shiban right. Now that they have finished, it continues. Almost all the principal uh, Romans within the Adangwe state will now begin to perform their rites one after the other. So we cannot say we are enemies. It is just that the present day. People feel like, oh, by virtue of one reason or the other, they want to feel superior. But within the Ghana Dangbe setup, the tradition, the customs, the practices, the usages will expose you and to indicate clearly who is who within the Ghana Dangbe setting. That is why one can sit and say, okay, I have his hand. So because I have his hand, yeah, our town too is powerful. But they know within themselves that when <coughs> Numo Bokitilawe name is mention within the gang state is only one name that you can equate to which is uh, 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 it's only these two men that you can make reference to there is no name any other name that you hear that is being mentioned they were all military uh, 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 captains and not the spiritual heads there's two these are the two key spiritual heads for the gadangwe people the names again we have Walumokono, Numu Bokiti Lawachuru, the first, and then we have uh, uh, Numu Lakote Adwa Wushi, the first. They are the founders, they are the spiritual leaders, the spiritual heads of the Gadangbe people. There is no other that can be, they have no equals. They have no equals. You are watching the biggest and the largest. I asked him to mention the names again because we are making history. Who knows? Uh, we keep learning. Okay, so let me ask this. That, no, let me ask you this. Mm. You said the homo starts from you. Mm. 
Yes, no one. Which one starts from Togo and Neho or Palome? I, I'm confused about these two. Uh, Which ones? You know there is Homo to yes, that start from there. Is it different from yours? No, it's the same. You know, as we indicated, most some of our Gamashi uh, brothers, whilst they were on their migration process, they spent some time in Kutonu. Others also spent time in um, Togo uh, and Neho. Indeed, when they even came to settle here in present day Ghana, there was some form of misunderstanding. So some of them trek back to go and stay with their brothers who were already in Kutonu and then in Togo. So they also celebrate, they perf actually perform almost the same or similar rite as we do. And they do their Omoho the same. But they don't, they don't start the Omoho because their brothers here are even the, the third or the fourth they tell to celebrate the uh, Omoa festival because immediately Nungwa finish the Omoa festival. Nungwa will give Lante Jawi one almost one month, almost one month for them to celebrate their Omoa. When Lante Jawi celebrate their Omoa, they now bless the grounds for the other Ghana Dangwe towns to now start celebrating until Lante Jawi have not even celebrated. Nobody in Aneho or even Kutonu or any Ghana tribe anywhere can say that they want to celebrate Omo. It is only Nungwa who has the sole right, both spiritually and physically, to perform this particular right for, for the entire Gadangwe people. So you can see that he indicated in Nungwa, the ban on drumming is only for a week. And our brothers is for a month. There is a spiritual significance which is attached to this. We celebrate our Omo in its silent mood. So during our more is when we have ban on drumming and noise making. Nobody makes any noise. Because ours is more integrated into the, uh, the, 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 our deities and uh, their, their feeding and their works and everything. Now. And we don't do it only for ourselves. We do it for the entire Gadangwe state. Because most of the things that we do and we perform, we perform it on behalf of everybody. That is why we have to, when we finish, one month before any Ghana Dangwe town can say that they are celebrating their more. And it's on record. It's always there. So we can say this with our two feet <laughs> on the grounds mm. that Nungwa is the headquarters of Omomo. Nungwa is the spiritual headquarters of the Gadangwe people. And our administrative headquarters is uh, Gamashi, which is uh, Accra. They are the administrative headquarters of the Gadangwe people. But when we come to the spirituality of the Gadangwe people, Nungwa has no equal. Nungwa has no equal. The headquarters, the intutus. Because okay. Nungwa has the 99 deities. The 99 deities, uh, which is being referred to as the 99 deities of the Gadangwe people. 99, 1 plus uh, 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 9 plus 9 will give you uh, uh, 18. The 18 will give you 1, 8, 9. The nine which represent completion. So within the temple of the, the, the Babu temple, the number of deities there are infinite. And that is why the, the Babu Ramoshiche, which is the overlord of the Gadangwe state, we always say that within his temple, he has all the energies within the, the, the word. And that is even in reference to his ability to use the meridian rock to feed all the deities within the world because within his temple he has infinite number of deities. We are not going to get into the deities yet because it will eat into our time. But I will ask my last question from you, then we proceed into the main um, topic. We hear when I was in church, that was millions of years ago, mm. we hear that the homoho food, the gari, it's if gari. you eat, the quickly, mm -hmm. if you eat, you get epilepsy. Have you heard this before? Not at all. You don't know this? No. No, no, no. no. Ah, viewers, <laughs> who knows about this? When we were in church, it was there that when you eat, you will get epilepsy. People don't want to eat. You are not aware of this? No. Not at all. 
like I said, um, it's my first time hearing this. Really? Yeah, yes. The, 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 the only time. thing we've heard normally is it's deities or abuzu niyama men so that so, kind of yeah. things. But we never heard of having any. Then I have given you a latest news. Yes. Mm. When I was in church personally, now I'm saying I'm a vampire. I'm going to be a deep in now. When you epilepsy, no wafi. I don't want to mention anybody's but, name. Like, like we wish to know. The, the ta uh, which particular church? Because mm. some some of their doctrine, <laughs> <laughs> some of their doctrine is quite. I don't know how to put it. But okay, because see, the the Omoro in itself is a Passover, which is in the Old Testament. Regardless of that, the Omoro meal itself is highly spiritual, and you see, when that is prepared, even the uh, what we call the uh, the latte. I don't know where uh, the 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 three I've pots. Heard about it. That we used to, they used to cook. Muchia. The the Omoho meal itself is so spiritual that it's used for um, people who doesn't have children, um, those who are seeking for job, those who want some form of blessing, what, whatsoever. You understand? And all these things are there, and people can bear witnesses and testimonies. Many, many, many tests because we have part of our tradition after the uh, the Omoho day that. The very next day is where everybody goes to his or a traditional home. And then everybody is counted, just like when Je uh, Jesus went back. And then they, they, they count himself and they delivered him there. To count, to, to, count, to be counted. So everybody goes back because our Ghana tradition, it's believed. It's synonymous to our Hebrew background. So after all, we have the, the day where everybody goes back home where everybody is counted, the blessings of the family is, 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 is prayed on almost everybody. Whatever spiritual challenge you are having, you, 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 you speak it out to the elders. Everything that seeks the blessings into this word, it is available in any Ghana language town. It is available. So immediately you go to your family house and then you indicate to your family members what your challenges are. They know what to apply. You are watching the biggest. Okay, my last question to you, then we proceed. Um, the homo thing we are talking about, you said it's spiritual. Can we call this Ga culture or we should call it African spirituality? Um, I, maybe I would prefer African spirituality because we are more spiritual. Uh, as for the culture, most of the times we, the Nunga people, we, we say we practice tradition. Because culture can be, you know, change or dynamics. But we practice what our ancestors left for us. So we call it a pure, pure tradition. tradition. That's what we, we call it. But for the entire world, we can say African spirituality yeah. because it enhances us to, you know, be more spiritual every now and then and communicate with our ancestors. The African spirituality we have in Africa, is it African spirituality or we were copying? Because... To the best of my knowledge, we were not migrating. We were running. Okay? They keep chasing us and we keep moving. So we were not like... Uh, I had to say, you're deporting. You're chasing. You're chasing. So the African spirituality that we practice now, is this something that we made up or it is our real spirituality? For us, um, using the... Um Using Nungwa, we can say that everything that we practice has been our real spirituality. Because the evidence are there for one to see. If you have not feel the energies before, you can see that there is no spirituality. But if you have feel the energy, if you have been to um, any of our Ghana towns or any of the African towns and, and the deities are invoked or the spirituality are invoked, like, like me, I always tell people that since I was made a chief, I've had communication with our ancestors who have died more than 10,000 persons. And so for someone to tell me that, oh, okay, there is, uh, there is hell and there is heaven, or uh, I have communicated with more than 10,000 ghosts, and none of them has come back, or none of them have come upon evocation and say, oh, I'm in hell, I'm suffering. And all that they preach when they come is, we should live in peace and in harmony and love ourselves. And whatever that is hidden from us and we seek to know, 
when we ask them, they tell us what the truth is. Or go and do A, B, C, D, or this particular thing happened today, or it happened yesterday, or it happened on this day. And that is the reason why we are doing A, B, C, D. And the facts have been always been there. If you go and invoke your, your grandfather right now, or your great-great-grandfather, and somebody is sick, and you are not finding solution or health solution to it, if the person is going to die, I will tell you that don't waste your money going to hospital because he has committed A, B, C, D. And for that reason, we have invited him to come. So he will, be, he will be coming regardless of whatever you, you do. If you seek for mercy and you pray, they can also say that, okay, be, because even at the time, we, we know even in the Old Testament, one of the prophets, God said... Zechariah. And he prayed. He, he, he pleaded that he should be given more time. In the same way. So we have walked through it, and we know what it is. So if somebody sits back and then say that, oh, and then it's just, no, okay, now I feel, trust me, you'll be smiling at the wrong side of your mouth. You will be smiling at the wrong side of your mouth. <laughs> you are watching the biggest and the largest. We are going straight into um, the topic, but I want you to advise the people on the Homo Festival why they should be obedient and stop the drum beating before we come into the topic. Um, if you are watching that, uh, if you are um, anticipating which topic we are going to talk about, it's about the marriage. The, I don't want to mention the name wrongly, but the, the, what everybody is speculating or talking about is the 12-year-old lady. So that's what we are going to discuss. But I want them to advise all of us on how we should take her more seriously and as actually stop beating the drums. That uh, you, if you are Christian or whatever, you have to humble yourself and listen. Tell us why, uh, advise us ask why we should understand you by not beating the drum mimi ye kristo ni nya oyena emfa me ho me bo me twene ye fa ho ben muntu ye fo ani enko all right uh like i have been saying to my friends each and every time meets them we have learned for uh, i'm a christian also so we have learned for christian for christianity and then we have the fasting period for um our islamic brothers um, same way as traditional uh, demands of us and our spirituality we have our Lent and the same way during Easter the Lent period leading to Easter everybody uh, adhere to the Easter rules there is a Easter holiday nobody is supposed to go to work and all those things the same way our Islam brothers when they are also having their fasting when they finish their fasting they have their holidays this is our Lent because when we say no uh, ban on drumming and noise making, the, the priest and the priestesses and almost all the um, principal traditional office holders now enters into their Lent period where they pray to ensure that the blessings that is on the land will be, be come in full in, into fulfillment for all of us, not for us, but with, within African spirituality, we always operate within, within the three persons, which is the living, the dead, and then the unborn. So if, you, if we are saying don't make any noise, we just want to plead with you that don't make the noise. Because the same way the, the 1992 constitution also uphold uh, the enforcement of traditional uh, beliefs and then anything attached to it. And that is why, and that is what gives us the power. That when we say no drumming, and then you drum our men. Now we have uh, government backing where the security agencies and the, the various traditional councils comes together to form a tax force, so that when somebody is making noise, that particular church or that particular mosque or that particular place or any party, their equipment will be seized. And 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 um, for us, we just pray that they will adhere to these rules, so that we all live in peace and harmony. Because we have lived on this land. Before we, in a way, part of our slogan is We allowed everybody to come and stay with us. We were living and performing our traditional rites way, way years before Christianity came, before uh, Islam came and any other religious set that came, came into being. So just adhere to our rules and then we all live in peace and then in harmony. It's just for a month for us to be able to Pray to God Almighty so that the blessings that will come within the year 
will come into, into, into fulfillment. The biggest, please, is there anything you want to add? Um, I would like to add a few things. Um, I would like to let the general public know about our customs and why it is important to us. We, the people of Gadangwe, believe that um, during our festive season, it's our spirit. That is what we are worshipping and cleansing. So if they disturb those spirits, they disturb us and them as well because um, there have been a lot of saying, especially in Nungwa, nobody have worked or been there as a, a businessman and never succeeded. They've all been successful. Talking of Casa Perku, talking of um, Liberty Industries, talking of few people that started from Nungwa. You see, and they know, they know, they know known us to be more spiritual people and we don't joke with what we do. So I also like them to obey the same rules and let them know that every person has a spirit. Within you, your spirit, if you respect any other culture or tradition, the same spirit will give you the back, uh, give you back um, what you, you, you respect. But if you don't do that and you disrespect somebody's culture, you are dis disrespecting your own spirit. Because when we go to sleep, we dream. And sometimes you might dream living or walking around Nungwa. Do you know what it's here? You don't know. So your spirit can have connection with something here, which will disturb you if you don't obey or if you disrespect them. So I would like them to know that we are born as spirit, not flesh. We are born as spirit. That is why we all have to respect our traditions and cultures so we can grow as a human. So whatever we are doing, they can still find it in their uh, Bible. Whatever we do, go in line with their Bible. So whether you go to church or not, we have our tradition, which we are born out of. So we have to respect those traditions as a people. That's a great advice. You are watching the biggest now. We are getting into the topic. Marriage of 12-year-old girl to a 65-year-old Ulomo. This is the story. It's been trending in and out but i have told you revelations platform we are not jokers so we are mpk kwan chain asem a yedinya na ye spirituality in kwadi at zoom na ya kofi ye pasem numu and i had to they said and they said that's why this thing when it since it came i have never utter a word because i wanted to get the clear story and then we know yet yes see yes see the ghana for pasem surasem Yo, so tell us, what is it about all this hula balu? Asambe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, now you know I am ready. Uh, one may ask who is, um, now you know I am ready. What do you know? Uh, the Baburu Amo Shiche, as we have indicated, uh, possesses within his uh, temple a lot of deities, as we have explained earlier on and by view of that within the temple the the deity in itself which is represented by the babu lomo the deity has four wives which are all deities but they manifest and represent in human form so we have now shirley we have now himia we have now Busuafi, and then we have now Yomu Ayemwede, who is the, the last and then the fourth. Now, aside the Babu temple, the, uh, the Babu deity also has other wives. One is uh, Akonode, which is in Latte, is a wife of... Akonode Shrine. Akonode yeah. is a wife of Babu. Okay. So... There are times where, even last year festival, the uh, priest and uh, priestesses from the Akonodi shrine, shrine latte. latte, they were part. They have always been part of our Omo celebration. When there is any significant tradition which is ongoing, they come to come and perform the, what they are supposed to do. They are full right. There are other wives to us, like I have indicated, Akonodi. Now, and then the Babu deity also has other concubines. Concubines. Yes. So what happened? Um, now, 
the misinformation and the misunderstanding of people. We have a young lady, uh, now Klomo, whom by virtue of uh, her conception, uh, which per our tradition, our traditional belief system, um, queens and kings, priests and priestesses are even ordained or initiated at the point of conception in their mother's womb. If there is a prophecy from the deities on any uh, particular pregnancy that maybe the person have sought the uh, assistance of giving birth or uh, uh, getting pregnancy from these deities. Now, Yomo, when the mother was pregnant, spent almost about two years before she was delivered. Now, throughout the processes while she was at that conception stage, all the spiritual consultations that were done were done within the uh, Babu temple to ensure that she is she's delivered. Without, because like me, my mother always says that uh, I, I spent almost about three weeks at Tema General Hospital, but you were not coming. So they had to send her to uh, a spiritual person in Kumko, Ataku, Ataku Somo, who uh, does a, a spiritual church at the, at the, at the beach. And that went the, my mother went there. I was delivered. I was the first to be delivered at, at, the, at, at the beach. You understand? So uh, my umbilical cord and my connection is still tied to that particular spiritual church because I was the first to be delivered there. And same story. Now, coming back to now, Yomu Ayemwede. Now, now Yomu Ayemwede has been delivered because the mother was having issues. Consultations were done and some rites were performed. The mother delivered. The mother delivered. She spent almost about two years not uh, 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 walking and even crawling. Some performances need to be done. Spiritual rites were consulted and then some rites were also performed within the Babu temple for her to be able to walk. Now, as she started walking, every spiritual child has so many things attached to him or her whilst growing. I can use myself as an example in so many forms and so many shapes. Now, as she grew along, keep things, things keep unfolding about, about her. Now, at a very tender age, now uh, Okromo, who then became now Yomo Ayemwede, was even the queen mother for a whole division for the uh, uh, Nungwa Klalu blacks too. At a very small age, she was a queen mother. She was a, uh, we would say even, uh, uh, we have almost about, we have more than 10 queen mothers in Jengewe. And she, at a very tender age, she was the overall boss for all the queen mothers within the, the Mankalo clan, which the Mankalo owns La Shibi, where you are, owns uh, uh, Sakumono, owns Oibi. These three towns, uh, now Okrumu was the, the queen mother for these three towns. Now, at the time when they have been performing all this, right, the, the prophecy has already come and she has been marked for what she's supposed to do when she's of age. So, what happened? Now you may have been performing. She was initiated at a very tender age to into the traditional rites of the Babu deity. So she had been performing the Dudo Minuo, right? Almost about six, seven years ago. She had been performing this rite. Then, she has now come of age. As she <coughs> sits on a stool, one of the stools that she sits on, which is within the Bobo Temple, is called a Shade stool. It is only sat on by virgins. She has been able to keep her virginity throughout this period. Throughout this period that she had been performing all these rites. She had, because immediately she began, to per, she began performing these rites for the state. She has always been under the care of the state. So, like we indicated earlier on, the elderly within the community, in line with her parents, ensures that every time she is taken to one form of training or the other for the bigger tax which is ahead. So, she has her own chauffeur, she takes her to school, she comes back from school. When she comes back from school, if it, like she's doing her studies or she's not doing her studies and there's any rights to be performed, the old women within the community. Indeed, the other four, uh, the other three uh, Babu uh, wives, 
na uh, Asheli, no him na Ashe, uh, uh, she is around her 70s na uh, uh, ohimia is almost getting to 100 years and then we have the uh, third one which is na uh, busiafi uh, who is in her uh, 30s and then other priest priestesses that are of age they ensure and guide her through the process that when she's of age she can be able to perform this right now she has 10 of age and at that particular age now that she's growing if we are not careful and the public is not being known that look now you more yeah more they write from conception up to this stage she have been for the deities and she have been working for the deities for that matter the hikwe more right which even within our gang spirituality we myself have gone through the hikwe more right but the hikwe more right in any literal sense when it comes to english is marriage you understand it's marriage so as a misinformation about the whole process so now your mother is of age now she mm -hmm. now has to be uh, uh, finally be be initiated into the shade stool which is sat on by a virgin and also to indicate to the whole world that she has a, 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 a right to perform and that particular right that she she needs to perform she needs to perform those rites in her purity. So now, from today, she is married to the Babu deity, in which myself I've gone through that rite. You understand? And almost any traditional office holder in Noah has gone through that particular rite. And this was done. Now, after this was done, now this gives her the opportunity to now perform in her full right sense what her taxes. Now, what are the tax? One, the, the domino rights, as I've indicated, she started it way back seven years ago, and every year she does this particular right. Now, after now assuming the rule of Na Ayemwede, she now uh, ensure <coughs> that the uh, the gentian Ishamo that we did yesterday, she up uh, the elderly women that will be within the confinement where the the spirit that controls the four cardinal points of the earth is invoked in. She is the head of all the women that will prepare this meal. And because of this particular rite that needs to be performed, you need to be initiated into one level of spirituality before you can have access to even prepare a meal for the four cardinal points that holds this earth. She is the head of it. She, now, when we are having a um, festival, we don't, it is upon recently that we'll be praying with uh, shinap, shinaps. But what we pray is, we call it uh, corn wine, which is a madan. And this particular madan, it is prepared from sacred maize, sacred water, and its performance and everything is sacred. She, she that is her role. And then during the festival, she will now carry it on her head with the other traditional office female priests and priestesses from the Babu temple to the town square that the Babu Moshiche will now use the madan, the corn wine for uh, uh, prayers. Now, the, the Babu, within the Babu temple, she also assists the Babu Moshiche with the other four uh, with, the, with the other three wives who are also within the temple to make sure that the uh, uh, the temples that we have within the uh, Babu temple, which is the Gbatwin, they, they are cleansing, spiritual cleansing, using all the sacred elements to ensure that all the deities are kept in a way which is in harmony with humans. So, the, this is just the, the, the underlining rites that were performed for her. So that she'll be able to perform these rites in, in the full sense. Because, you see, the other three wives that we are, I have indicated, Asheli, uh, 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 Ohimia, uh, Busiafi, all of them have their respective husbands. Oh, really? Yes. So that, that lady can marry in future? When, when she's of age. 
When, oh. when she's of age and she wants to marry any man of her choice, because, she, you see, the three that we mentioned, the three of them, they don't sit on a shadow stool. The other senior wives of the, the customary wives, which is not in, sense, uh, in, the, in the right sense of uh, constitutional marriage, but customary, even the customarily, I would say that, uh, you know, within the constitution, we have customary marriage, and then we have the ordinance. The ordinance. But when we say customary, it is way in variance to the customary marriage which is stated within the constitution. Because the customary right of uh, uh, the customary right of uh, 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 our tradition <coughs> is not stated within the within the within the constitution, and you can have the customary right in it to right sense. Like when you go to you are having a spiritual issue, and then you go and do consultation, they say you need to feed your soul. Maybe you were born in November, but you gone to seek spiritual clearance, and they say ah, you need to feed your soul. Now you need to feed, you need to feed your soul within a, s a stipulated time. You cannot wait up to November when your birthday for you to feed your soul. You will perform that right now. And when that right is performed, it's performed as your birthday. Where your friends and your family will be invited. There will be food. There will be everything. Mm -hmm. Everything that is performed during birthday will be done for your soul. Can one say that is your birthday? Right now, what I want to understand is this. This young lady mm -hmm. can she marry she can marry she can marry any man of his, his, his choice so the 65 year old man was just representing the deities performing the rituals you he is not going to have even, anything with even you. the videos that came out and then you saw do you see anybody exchanging uh, rings rings or anybody uh, maybe the nyanya is your ring we don't want to hear inside oh the nyanya is for the nyanya is for everybody and it's for spiritual clearance when everybody which is part of our <coughs> spirituality when you are going to uh, be installed as a chief initiated into one traditional office whatsoever the nyanya is i i i know that i'm yes. just uh, you are watching the biggest so it's so tell us so that man is not ever going to touch this young lady. Or when the, this young lady grows up like 20, mm -hmm. and she said, I want to marry the 65-year-old man, it's possible. We want to get that straight. You see, what, what I'm, I've, and I've been saying it over and over, when she's of age and she wants to marry, a, right, a particular right, because she's sitting on a, a, a virgin stool, now, when she's going to, I don't know whether the term is right, divergenize. And one, no, no. And one, no, no. So, divergenizing, who A bride will be performed that now uh, she is of age and now she can marry. And that particular right is even uh, uh, more detailed than even what was done. That she will have to go to almost all the deities within Nungwa to announce that she is now. Red, she's not but ready. she can also decide not to marry and be on the stool. You see, to, the, the choice of marriage has always been uh, one choice. Like the nuns. They can decide, one can decide to marry or not to marry. So she can decide when she's of age, it's her choice. If she decides not to marry, it's her. Exactly she, my point. If she wants to marry, it is her. And she can marry anybody of her choice. So you can say on this platform that the man the 65 year old man who they are speculating that he is married to this girl is never going to touch her mm. like she is not never going to have any intimacy with the girl mm. we will never see that ever in ghana like like i've said like i've said if she's of age and she have reached um, uh, uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, he wants to go and do things. She, when she's of age, is a choice. Whoever she wants to marry, and uh, whatever she wants to do with her life, that uh, spiritual clearance will be will be given. Because look, uh, the other thing is that people are making so much out of because we have a lot of young ladies within even the church within other sectings where they are virgins, and they are holding their the the the, the 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 virgin their spirituality 
to be able to accomplish one particular task whatsoever, if it's in the church, if it's not within the church, outside the church, or whatever it is. And it's within our traditional settings. Within our traditional settings, prophecies were made, her delivery, her growing up, her system has always been attached to the deity. And for mm -hmm. that reason, her upbringing, her upbringing, people say her rights have been denied. None of her rights have been denied. She goes to school as a normal child. Indeed, as I've been saying, there is no royal, there is no royal on earth, whether it's a child or a grown-up, that has an ordinary lifestyle. No oh, royal has an ordinary lifestyle. Because even the, the queen's uh, grandson, uh, what, Harry or whatever his uh, name Harry? is, Harry said he uh, look. I'm tired. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be a royal any longer. But wherever he goes, he's chasing him. He does even he doesn't have the freedom. First he used even when he was a royal, some things are even measured. But now he said he uh, look. I don't want to be royal. I want to have my free lifestyle. I want to do it anywhere he goes. Uh, the cameras. Yeah, Lady Diana. But yeah, the cameras. Say, what him. I want to. I want you to make it straight for the public to mm -hmm. hear is that um, that lady can not even marry that man in future. It or he can, she can decide to choose him to Papa Bonon in Kebobaya. For me, marriage is by choice. Marriage. Um, I, um, I understand that the point, the question I'm asking is that mm -hmm. if this young woman mm -hmm. becomes of age and say that this thing, and they, and they keep crying, I want to be, mm -hmm. I want to be Lena. No, mm -hmm. Papa Bonon means to be Lena or Hami. Can these people too marry proper, proper? That is a choice of marriage. That is, I, what I mean to say is, if he makes that choice, you want to answer that question? No, uh, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not really answering but that I question. By, you by know, this. Uh, sometimes when this issue pop up, I don't want to talk about it because there is a lot involved, like I said. Normally, when we, we are dealing with spiritual issues, I'm very careful about oh. things that I say uh, in, in public. Because, um, like I said, I've decided not to talk. For, for a long time until the case is being done. And like I said, we've concluded everything and we don't want to talk too much into it. But um, like he's saying, everybody has a choice. And um, I'll use a platform to make it straight. Even in our churches or other places, I can, we can start a choir together as choir colleagues or any other youth members. And get married later. And get married later. So is it possible? But no, what, what, what we I'm are saying. trying to, what I'm trying to say here is that if the girl is of age and he and decides, she decides, oh, okay, the way I see things, I, I want to do this or I want to do that. For me to be safe, you that is not, no. yes, that is not our choice. I understand, but yes. I want to know if it's possible. Like the man can a 20 year old child come and say, Papa. Minta wo, minta, minta wo, minta wo, minta wo, it's possible. It's possible. It's, it's possible. possible. It's possible. But l let me see the, mm -hmm. this this as well. Um, back in the in the uh, I've been about few years, this girl's right it's more special because it's about eight hundred years. But there have been some of the rights which is not even close to hers. There was somebody given at the same age, mm -hmm. but the old man old man the the child's parents want the old man to marry their um, like daughter. marry marry. I mean, after the, re, I mean, the re, yes, yes, the re, re. Yes. And the old man said, well, it's just for these customers today. And the girl was angry. Hey! She don't want to marry anybody. She's there. She's there. Everybody love me. Yes. And because she don't, <laughs> she, she, she feel like I want to be uh, the wife of, you know, the man because of the way people cherish him and see this. I can be, you know, boast of certain things. So people can decide a choice of, oh, okay. Who even know? Maybe he's a reincarnator or so a twin flame. No, Anything see, at no, all. No, I'll be saying, or, or, all the rights that have been performed, uh, now you is a reincarnated, well, now you which over 300, almost, yes. two, almost 300 years, are reincarnated, well, now you And you can see, like I've indicated, that throughout the conception, throughout the growing up, she has been involved at a very tender age. Um, all these noir rights. So you can see, I mean, all the issues that happen, the people will always tell you that she doesn't talk. All I wanted to make straightforward is what you've told me. I wanted to know if in case Yehuse Na Yomo Klomo is delivered a baby. 
Na yomo ayemwede. I don't want to mention the name wrongly, but I still want to mention it. Na yomo ayemwede. Or you can insult na yomo. Na yomo. If na yomo decide to marry papa, it's a choice. And it's possible. It's a choice. But not now. I, I, no, I'm not saying now. What I'm saying, I'm asking you this because in future, when we hear Nayombo has a baby, and the baby becomes a baby, Wulomo, rah, 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 I will call you again. No? Yes. That's yes. why I'm asking you this question. So yes. if the child decides yes. that... It's not a child. Now, uh, now uh, she's now of age. Nayombo. No, now she's of age. Mm -hmm. Now she's of age. So when she's of age, and the right is performed to now announce to the whole world that well, now you know, who sits on the shadows too, who is a virgin too, and now she's of age and she wants to divirginize herself, a right will be performed to announce to the world. Now, if she decides to marry, she decides to marry any person of her choice. I understand. So if he, he decides to marry and decides to marry Numbo, that one too is a choice. That one too Am is I a correct? Choice. Correct. Ah, this thing is not actually anything. We want to get it straight. straight. Whether Waware no Lele, and as I said, the rich, and now you've made it clear. Mm. Now before, now seven, seven years, you said, yes, Mohammed, you said, hey, who has asked me this? <laughs> oh, sorry, you didn't hear that. Mm. Ah, but recently, a Nigerian, a 60-year-old man married Regina Daniel and Ned Nwoko. Mm. They mm. are married. So yes. these things are not in, in our history. It be a seven years now, it be trotting a movie. We know this thing by yeah. years ago. Yeah. But this one, the way the whole thing went, the, the reason why I said uh, they should get me somebody from the house. So I get it right. Mm. So we shouldn't be, we should not be shocked if now Yomo gets like 21 years and decide to marry Numbo. It's her choice. It's choice. That one can happen. Mm. If he decides to marry um, uh, my son, that one too is her choice. Anything at all can happen. So now, so what really brought about the press conference? We saw your colleagues, uh, chiefs and kings making press conference about this whole thing. Is it that they don't understand the culture or the customs or the rituals? Or it was mere a, a jealousy? Um, you what can, brought about you saw this on social media yes the other chiefs who were committing that that they yeah, have, yeah they, yes they, we have to be arrested and it's against you know um we would say it's rather unfortunate um that um a chief or a traditional um, office holder within the Ghana Dangui state um will come out to say and say things ag against the rights that were performed the reason being that when you are installed as a chief and you go through all the traditional rites where you spend seven days in uh, 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 confinement. You spend seven days in confinement and after your confinement and you are coronated as a chief, you also go through another rite, which is called the Butrun War rite, the Hikpimo rite, so this rite that we perform for now. Throughout these processes, and you have the right persons installing you as a chief in confinement during coronation right after coronation all the traditional rights that you need to go through you will be educated you will be educated on the gang adangwe traditional settings and the gang adangwe spirituality what I, what are the intotos of it you understand so we would say all that we can say is that any traditional office holder. Indeed, um, our most of our Khan uh, uh, chiefs rather spoke for what was done. Because it is, it is a norm within our traditional setting that, like I indicated, that even at conceptual stage, people are initiated and rights are performed before they are even delivered. It is part of our African spirituality, not only pertain to the to the Ghana Dangbis. So if you see any Ghana Dangbe traditional office order speaking against what was done, then your guess is good as mine. That that particular person has not really, really gone through the entire journey of the Ghana Dangbe spirituality for him to appreciate what was done. And that is all that we can say. You are watching the biggest. As for us, we cannot actually fight for uh, uh, Na Yomu. Mm. 
Uh, because the parents are there, they are not dead, are they? Mm -hmm. And they have a family. Mm -hmm. The family are quiet, means they know what they are doing. But me, I am just praying that she force me to so many that now Yombo will grow and choose someone so that this old man's head will be clean. So they, nobody will say, you people trick us. Maybe now Yombo decide to choose the, the chief. But people will say, hey, it was a lie. You people deceived us. That is why I'm saying that now Yombo, I pray that <laughs> when your time is due and you want to belay that near, near, uh, near, now. Uh, uh, anyways, let's leave nature. Uh, because you said he's a, she's a reincarnated soul, mm. and those people come with their own way of life, and mm. you, you can't actually mm. say a lot um, about it. But mm. I'm happy she's still going to school, and she's happy with whatever she's doing. She, she's, she's happy with it. Uh, indeed, uh, it was the system, rather, the system, rather, that denied her, uh, her examination because she was kept for... Uh, 18, days. Uh, 18 days and because of that uh, they deny her, uh, uh, her examination but regardless she's okay she's healthy um, she has when she, she, she came out um, all the necessary right that needs to be performed she has to go through a very rigorous um, spiritual right because she has been away um, from her um, spiritual confinement so that was done with uh, that was done with a boo and for because we had almost about four days, three four days to her perform her first performance, which is a domino. So for the three days when she came back, almost the entire traditional settings for Nunga, all of us uh, were on her to ensure that she was ready for her first traditional tax, which is a domino. And the things that we've indicated that that these are the reason why the initiation was done. So is she is she a happy person? If you see her, she's a very bubbly, lovely person. You know, reincarnated persons, because they are old persons in a younger age, their communications are less. They give direction, and that's it. And so, that's it. And that's it. When she needs something, she just goes straight, I want this. And it is provided. You, you understand? And okay. She's okay. If she's happy, we are happy. But the system has failed. But you people have plenty of lands. You sell them and we fight over it. So sell some and find her a special teacher, a private teacher at home. So she's able to write all her exams and become the bigger graduate the, she wants. The, the, to the exams they deny is a terminal. Uh, oh, is a, is a not terminal, a serious no, one. No, no, no. It's a terminal end of term uh, examination. So the school that she goes to, one of the best schools in, in Nungwa. And the, the, her mates, everybody, who were even present. You see, if this thing is what people perceive it was, would her mates they came in their uniform? Because they, knew, they, they know her that all these years she has been performing one traditional rite whatsoever. And now if she has reached a stage where she's, been, she's going to the next stage of her traditional journey, why should it be misinformed? You understand? And now you've made it clear to us, and I think our heads are straight. Mm. The reason I didn't want to talk to anybody mm. by the roadside, I came home. Mm. So I'm able to get all the nutrients out of it. You said that the deity, the, 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 the deity in Nungwa has three wives. The deity in Nungwa, which is a Babu deity, within the Babu temple, has four wives uh -huh. and concubines. The concubines are not within the temple. Has other deity concubines outside the temple? Is that why you people like women? Are you following your deity? Uh, no, men, do you like me women? <laughs> uh, we would say that it is just uh, by nature, one, one way or the other. You know, traditional settings. And you see, one of the reasons why tra in traditional settings, when you are a chief or you are a traditional office holder, um, you know, as a, as a spiritual the person. Demonstration stuff. Yes. So you need an so advantage. Move for low shrine. Uh, no, it's not advantage. Because you can't cook for me. You can't um, touch my cloth. I can't lay with you. You can't come closer to my room and all those things. And somebody needs to take care. You understand? Somebody needs to take care of the traditional you not spare one. No. And if you have, you know, you know that when the, it will definitely go and clash. So you keep on going. You keep on. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the biggest and the largest, so it's not the deity influencing you guys. No, but what we are saying, I've explained to you the spirituality aspect of that. 
You understand? It's a spirituality aspect. I understand. Oh, yes, and because of that, the chief too cannot live in, a, in a isolation. Uh -huh. Somebody needs to take care. So we keep moving until we get there. Wow. You are watching <laughs> the biggest and the largest. Now, Yombo, we wish you all the best. Our prayers are with you. So, we bet to me, I near Marcasia Cassiana, O de Asha, O my Ghana, and you yamni a bow and crofodin through history. Now, your bow is so dean, a caho. Your best support, and if this is the case, we will all support um, her. Very true, very true. She um, now has a, a foundation, uh, the Na Yombo Foundation, and uh, helping the girl child, um, as we are speaking, even. Um, we're doing a recruitment process for young girls within Nungwa. Almost 100 people who um, the basic requirement is just GSS um, for them to go and do some sewing work. And she's spearheading that. Mm -hmm. And then it, this also has come as an uh, enlightenment, um, not only to us. Uh, maybe the model operandi, um, because we feel we are in the modern stage, led. Uh, people adding spices to their whole occasion, and that got many people to have the best appreciation of what mm -hmm. was done. Mm -hmm. We need to look at how some of these ancient rites, when we want to uh, perform them in the sense of modernity, we should also look at it and not move so much far away from the what we are supposed to, what do. We are supposed to do. Because in your quest, mm -hmm. in your quest to add modernity, it might land you into fire. Exactly. So now Yombo, we are we are with you. Anytime he she's um, doing any organization, any show, any rituals, and uh, she needs videos, cameras, we are for her. Oh yes. yes. Anything, yes. anything, video, we are for her. Yes. So any advice for? Are you going to catch another young lady for this? Because I would want to be there. How I wish I can grow back. <laughs> for, 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 for us, um, like I indicated earlier on, almost every young person that is initiated into um, our tradition and setting, it always comes as uh, some level of prophecy. Um, it will definitely come with some spiritual signs that one can say that, oh, this particular child the person herself will not even refuse no so does it come from the family or it comes from the it can come from anywhere from the town or it comes from the family no you see there are times where we can have within the family and then we can have because when you come to Nungwa, we have persons who are not from Nungwa, but the deities have brought them okay, to Nungwa. Exactly like my sister I when i was when i was installed as a chief my, my sister was with Kumawood. So she came to um, support the process. Uh, the, the very time that I was being taken out of my confinement, because part of our confinement process, which I always refer to people, are uh, pure ancient confinement, right? Where you don't see the sun for seven days, and it's only the moon that is used to perform your right. And if you are a chief and you have not you've gone through the moon, right? For, to me, Paul, you need. <laughs> You, you understand? On the seventh day when I, when I was being brought out and then the uh, goat was slaughtered because I'm going through the rebirth process and then I have to go through the rebirth process by going through blood. Immediately, my sister got possessed. My sister got possessed by one of her uh, deities which has not possessed any human for over 820 years that we've been in existence. So she eventually have to stop a movie because anytime she's going to Kumasi to go and act, I'll be at the coming that the deity has come and they don't know how to control it. And we have May to we know her? Oh, she's uh, 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 now uh, identity, uh, Ufu identity. She possesses one of the snake deities uh, uh, in, in Nungwa because the, the snake deity, which is in Daume, uh, which is the headquarters of all the snake deities in the world, the, in Ghana, it is, the, it is two tribes that possesses the full authority of the snake deity in Daome. Our brothers in, in Shai, and then the Nungwa, which is the uh, Ufun Lomo. Ufun is uh, snake. Is snake. So we have um, the Ufun, which is the within the Gadang settings. He is the head of all the snake deities within the uh, Gadang. And my sister happens to be the priestess for Ufun identity. 
hers is shema shema so she can be here she can be almost every part in the world because of a uh, uh, snake deity connection so that was done immediately she got possessed everything was done my father said no they can't take from the same uh, womb two persons it is not they have not seen some before where a she is right coming after me a brother and then a sister it should come from maybe my auntie or my uncle's children or something and they deny her they deny her finally the people of Kun said okay if they have taken me to Nuwa, then uh, she, the deity is uh, Kun deity over some period she walked from uh, uh, Kun to Nuwa and then went straight to where the the deity the boys and then she have to go through her right so most of these things that happens, they are more spiritually inclined. The deities decide. They decide. And they can have 20 years or 200,000 years connection or contract. Mm. They will still follow. They will still follow. And, 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 and anywhere you go, they will, they will still they follow. They know everybody. They, know, they keep track. They know everybody. And if anybody is inclined, if the person see you, the person will know that, look, this person is, is this. Don't go there. Or if you try, you want to do something, you will see. Because... There are so many times, like we say, that when Ayumo goes and she wants to marry any person of her choice, there are persons who are priestesses of the snake deities where their husbands cannot marry them because there are times, even when they are sleeping, you will see the, uh, the snake lying down. You, you understand? Manifestation. Manifestation. And when we were young, my, myself in our family, well, every time there is a snake in our house, until we grew up, I became a chief, my sister, a snake... Uh, priestess even up to date there is the always there are snakes around always there are snakes around and um, say yeah we've had a very long conversation so right now we leave you i want you to advise the public the chiefs we don't we are not going to leave anybody outside so you will advise the chiefs who didn't understand this whole thing and then you would, um, I mean, advise them that they should hold their peace and that the child is, you know, advise them. And when you are done, then um, Papa too will advise the public that they should hold their peace and that nothing bad will happen. I mean, assure us. So you take it from the, the chiefs uh, or the kings. I want to switch the language now because if care is not taken, we'll be back. Yo. <laughs> Lash when we get home because Yo. most of our people switch. can understand switch. the language. Um, Remember, my dear Kenji, but my old day, Niji, well, we could not forget the way you look. Because it should be fair day. Um, drum on and when I walk, wash your hand, wash your name. One turn, we have man fair alley. We in two, can it be any? What are we free? I fear she go. We go pay moji, mo fair mo ke sole. Ke he nyamu amomi. But na fair ni wa fair. Enye eda fair ne ke ne ya session. Uh, man, she me ke me ko ko me ni yue ke she. Wo boy pa yo kusun fe mone or back pa me fai mukoleko mukoleko ni won kaseni in lulu ni bi baba o ye ni ke woke woke ba shwe pa no eba fe me na akbe shanga ya fe mumu sani e wosumu ni woyu ochon me pi e na me yelu mo ni afi e kusun ame na kweko dam e ja ke benke e cheme wame ne ka afi na kan kusun e kwe eba ka ke je ne ke yo le na kano muko uye ne na kwa amu kusun e temadam. Moko unye, ena ku buwe kwa yu kusun. Ni woke na neke nibi inepe. Iba ajwa ake afi nukoko. Shimbo, makpa fai. Keji wo nanoko nakane. Wo miya wo hiye. Koni, wo bi, tamo wo nye efeye. Iba ata wo shen bi. Le bi a mekbe. Alo e bi no ni te no dani. Woka ba mwen plamana alo dani wo jina. And then going back forward there. I will also like to advise our, uh, let me use the word there. The gender ministry or the politicians or any other people around that. When something happens, they need to go into it first before taking actions. Just like others were writing, the, the priest has to be arrested, so, so and so and all these, without knowing the caliber of this, the person. I'm saying this because, um, like I said, I don't want to talk about this issue when they call it marriage. But in our constitution, uh, traditional marriage or customary marriage is being defined in a way which suits the people. And when you look at what happened, I keep asking myself, is it in line with what we call it our uh, traditional marriage as for people of Nungwa? Because we have a process that you go through. So seeing uh, something like, like being spicy or anything, like I said, a side attraction show, and using that as a content of something that have happened traditionally, 
I think for me it's unfair because that's what I wanted to all this why clarify that when we say marriage first of all we need to take that community because we have a list and we have a procedure of a marriage we first have to pull that out and read and see what was done whether it's in line with it before we can even take an action but we we refuse to do this and it has been having people have been having misconception that uh, this is marriage and any time i see it somewhere they call it marriage i feel angry or they say the uh, sister marry a 12 i feel so angry because at least at allege you see and sometimes they will be using um those two people as how do i call it um what's this word um there's a word i've, I've forgotten about it but you see they they will use certain words that has that that is not right so we plead with them what we did like i said if you sit in front of me as a minister whether gender minister whether information minister whatever i will ask you bring out your constitution and then bring out the laws of our traditional system because you can't tell me today that i'll bring this iphone to you start making noise hey iphone 50 iphone 10 and then you give your daughter as a, uh, in hand in marriage it is never done it's because there's a process knocking these these this. we need to check all those things but i would once thank them that um they did a great job for me because we've been following this issue, even though like the way I would think is not what they want, the way they they, they will go with it. But in all, we give thanks to them for their professional work done. Thank you so much, Ebusia. I confirm say in soon I worry no. I worry any day. See, I beckon no come and pour a baby. Busumbiya, Obi or come busumano say no busumano worry no. They are coming so I no see in soon I worry no. So the marriage thing they say I beckon ma. You be called deeper, deeper, deeper. And marriage in the baby, baby. You be called as a more spiritual marriage. Mm. The marriage, the uh, marriage. Mm. You know, the IIT and then the so your advice to the public, those who were worried about now you mo, those who were thinking, those who you know, yend ye don't call her. Yes. You know, advice how they be mom. Any assurance how they be mom. Every year, be pa be sranu. Yeah, so you yeah, okay? Yes, yes. Mm. We would like to first. We like to say a big thank you to. Uh, the Chief Transit Minister, uh, the uh, Minister of Interior, uh, Gender uh, Ministry, uh, uh, National House of Chief, the, the um, head, um, and all, every particular person that in one way or the other um, spoke for or against um, the whole process. Um, what we are just saying is that whenever there is an issue concerning tradition, there's always one thing that I always say, that in tradition, it is not everything that you see with your eyes, with your naked eyes, that is what is being performed. It is not everything that you hear with this your ears, that is being that is that is being said. That is that is what is being said. It is not everything, also that one professes or say with their mouth, that is being done because there is so much to what has been said, what the communication is. There's so much to what the perf the right performances there's so much what the person what you are also hearing there's because there are some that you need discernment there are some you need to elevate yourself to understand what is coming so when a right is performed whether it's in accra here is a gadang base an airways an account culture or is a um, our brothers from the north if you don't understand just find time go to the people or call uh, somebody that you think is well inclined or has better knowledge about what is done. So the, for the person to give you the clarity of what was done, it was unfortunate, it was misunderstood, and people took it uh, some to the BBC, to CNN, to Al Jazeera, it was all over the place. We thank almost everybody, everybody. And for those that are calling for others that, oh, they've insulted guns. And look, at the end of the day, for us, what is important is we have our queen mother, and one of our, the, the, the slogans for our deity, which is Babu, is Nfo Bisha, Nima Bisha. Nfo Bisha, Nima Bisha. In other words, if my son is stubborn and it calls for his death, it is not me as the father. That will say that they should kill my son. And yes, will be at the end of So for that reason, anybody at all that insulted us, because of lack of understanding and appreciation of what was done. We're forgiving the person. We are in a festive mood. 
we would like to concentrate on our festival, focused on our festival, because the blessings that comes with our more festival, it is not only for the dance. And that is why almost everybody that comes to Accra to come and do one business or the other, or to stay with us in Accra, they are even more successful than us because at the end of the day, part of our code, our spiritual code, is to ensure that strangers are successful. And that's why we say that Able Kuma. Aba Kuma wo. Able Kuma. Aba Kuma wo. Aka wa se mba ko. Um, uh, the ampese mi van chwati wo ni se, ye si akwala nu, ana se ye, ye ma amin peni yu nu. Ye kan, ye kan se ye di nama eh, bosu no mu nji ndi. Ba mi peso bi anko shwe ni wekan nu. Bobu de iti na, wajina ni panu so nu. A o nu ye noma rational human being nu. O fre nu, Crafo, say a car craft was a woman. And he knew a chresse, the air can we say some of these things, you know, they, they don't follow and they don't focus. But when you watch the video, the Babu deity got possessed and was welcoming the wife, as we said, and calling her Crafo, Crafo, Crafo means my, you know, uh, uh, uh. and then others who are his children are calling him Inyawo, Inyawo. Others are calling him. Uh, also, like everybody who is connected to her, whether a mother, a sister, a brother, they are in, they are in trance and well, calling step, her. Step, uh, children. Children. Because the Babu has... Um, now, we are concubines, Jay. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, Abu Sina, uh, Papa, thank you so much for coming. But, and you are not going to be here, and you are not going to be here, because you are going to be here for 300 years, and you are going to be here for 300 years, and you are going to be Na eye ye se omu didi obi atem. But I'm telling you, ne, ne, ne rich was no went viral. Intimidia mi feel so lanche no. The deity launched ne 300 year old wife who has actually reincarnated. Every misfortune is a blessing. We are appreciating everybody. Obre ye wo mwa ye didi mwa temu ni we appreciate you. That is how it's supposed to happen and it happened that way. We keep moving until we get there. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you, Papa. And my love to the Bobu Wulomo. Yes, Wulomo Kono. The name is too big. So send my love um, to him. I we will visit him personally. Yes, yes. I may the MP. Oh, you me. have to come. I may go to Oh, you. Oh, you have to come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We do appreciate you. Thank you so much for wa uh, watching Revelations. So at actually, this is the story. Obiadi or can be I intro? We is coming straight from the house. The caucus inside this, and I am our story. No. Thank you for watching. Much love, Macrow.